She does have a no drama. Um, do you have a no drama policy? policy? No drama well, make do you have a gauge sign? by how high the drama can be? And you're like, that's it. You hit three, you're done. <laughs> ding, ding. Do you, how do you do the, that? The fire, how do you mitigate that? The fire suppression that? system comes on. Right. How do you mitigate that, though? Seriously, because that is a thing we in the salon weekly industry. We have juice talks. So we, okay. we have like our... Wait, what is it? We A uh, juice talk at Wonder. I love that. Yeah, it's a weekly juice talk. And then tell everybody what Wonder is. Oh, Wonder. Oh, my God. If you don't if know, you don't wonder know wonder what Wonder is... is yeah. It's You're the over best. there. <laughs> juice. Yeah. Anything juice. Yeah. They Anything have a, juice they have a latte that. called it's... Princess Yum Yum. And oh, I it is. Have you well, heard that? No, but I mean, I was going to say it's the only juice bar that I know of that is fully organic. Oh, yeah. Like okay. they kind of went and said, and said we're going to grow slowly mm-hmm. because we want to stay organic. Right. And they feed, um, they give all their extra pulp to the the goats to the mountain forest. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Boulder, we love it's you so, so much. Boulder. It is so, uh, <laughs> so cute. Good great. job, Brooke. Yes, and they have a baby shower for the goats, a little goat Get. baby shower at <laughs> Wonder. <laughs> you think we're all Easter. joking. We're, no, we're it is. Like- I am here today with Kate and Andy Manns. They are two entrepreneurs. Um, When I met them, they were both with Boulder Lifestyle Magazine. They own Boulder Lifestyle Magazine here in Boulder, and we'll get into that. And then Kate just opened a salon on Pearl Street, and I'm going to slaughter. How you pronounce it? Is it Balayage? Balayage. Balayage. (laughs) Balayage. Clearly, I don't know how to (laughs) say it. it, But That was a big challenge. Like, do we, people aren't going to know how to say it. (laughs) Balayage bar, but. But everybody yeah, knows what it is. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fabulous. And so um, so I've invited them here today for two reasons. I know them really well. We're going to have a really great conversation about what they're doing here in Boulder, how they're showing up for the community, um, and also just because they're really easy to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> so for our Virgin Tour, I thought this would be great. <laughs> so thank you guys yeah, for being here. here. Um, so, I mean, let's start. Like, Let's start with how I met you. You know, I think you walked into the office, Ozo. Right? Uh Well, yeah, we had a uh, Tom Conn invited invited right. me over, and then but then you and I chatted a little bit after that meeting, and then and then we went to Ozo on Pearl Street, yep. and then that was. I remember yeah, you telling true. me about you meeting Jen because he was like, she was so cool and. <laughs> Not, it was after no first, ego, and you had like yoga pants on or something. Oh you were like, you were, you were running around. <laughs> you were, I had you rolled were out of like, bed. You're on, on the go. <laughs> well, no, yeah, it was so after funny. our first issue uh, had come out, and then, um, yeah, we, I don't think we we were looking for new ad, you know, yeah. ad partners that were connected to the community. We really wanted, we didn't want, you know, Joe Schmo Realtor. We really were seeking out whether it was. You know, for all the industries, we sh- we wanted the best of the best, and you obviously were a great fit because you okay. and you definitely kept connecting us. Now, seven years later, with with other great partners. Yeah, you're, so. you're, the magazine has evolved. So let's talk about first what Boulder Lifestyle Magazine is. So we're a monthly community living magazine that uh, it's direct mail to fifteen thousand homes in in Boulder uh, each month. So it wow. just shows up in the mailbox. And just really wanted to be the good news of the community, and you know, there's a lot of um, negative stuff in in our world, and we just wanted this to be something that's really hyper focused on Boulder and and highlighting the people that are making a difference and yeah. promoting small business. Obviously, it's you know, it's it's funded by advertising because it's a free magazine, but then the other half of that content that we have to work with is we want to make sure it's it's promoting. Um, everybody that's just here and making Boulder what it is and that's well and what really struck me early on is that it was our first lifestyle magazine Mm -hmm. and you know so we like Boulder always touts lifestyle you know like I think that's why people come here I think it's why they want to stay here but it was the first time we ever had you know somebody coming in and saying we want to show off what this lifestyle looks like and you guys, I mean, like, I can't tell you. I wish I had that first issue still because the new, the issue, I would say, like, the last year and a half look fabulous. Great. And the editorial has gotten so good. And the content, you know, is like the, the photography is beautiful. Like, the composition, I still go back to, like, that all black, um, 
the cover with Edie. I think it's Edie's oh, yeah. dies the on dies, it. Yeah. I wish we had that. We can Edie like her. point that in so you can yeah. see. And so yeah, there are some really cool things. So what what is now? I mean, are you even taking on advertisers anymore? Or? Yeah, we're always, you know, as we started out at thirty six pages, our, our first issue, and you know, it had three staples in the in the um, the binding of the magazine. And my just being a competitive person, I knew that. I wanted to get away from that staple as soon as so as you as you you know as we gain more advertising partners we could get we could also have more content so then the yeah. page count goes up so i wanted to get a straight edge you know a perfect bound as soon as possible so i was you know having that first issue was great and i was already on to, on to the next and, you were and, hustling uh, so we only, <laughs> i think we had two our first two issues were stapled and then it went i think at 52 pages it went perfect bound and then now we've been consistently over 100 pages for probably the last four four years, but mm-hmm. it's really, I mean, our team's amazing and, and um, I'm certainly, can't take all the credit. Um, Kate really stepped in and yeah. as you can, like if you yeah, would you look can... at the first few issues, the first year where it was mostly like a lot of text and then smaller pictures, Kate really transitioned that and just did a 180 on like, yeah. hey, we know that we're entertainment for people. They're not just it's, it's the reality of our society is that they're not going to sit there and read um you know a thousand words it just they want beautiful pictures and they want that editorial yeah. yeah they want the pretty they right. want like the snapshots of everything they want to see people they know yeah. i mean i really like i remember people started going oh it's like the people magazine of boulder because you guys would highlight parties do highlight right. par- events that are going on events that you sponsor um, and then the editorial started coming in and the look and the feel of everything changed. I think it was about when you kind of took over, yeah. which was just the, you know, local photographers yeah. that we just honed in on. Yeah. And they're they were photographers talented and stylists. Yeah. You know. Who are some of your favorite photographers that you guys are using that you're working with? Oh gosh. We've had Lad Ford has been yeah. a, a good one for us. Kylie Fitz, um, Kelsey Huffer has been a great, great one to Ted. Us. Mark Kennedy was last name. <laughs> Space it. Sorry, Ted. He's, he's a, he loves me, and I love him. But you know, he's, he uh, he he's kind of our guy, go to guy for like the party, like party picks and yeah. and showing up. Oh God, and, like, is he the guy who had our Halloween party last year? No, that was no. Alex Beal. Oh, he was, was hilarious. Alex. He was like, "Can I stop now?" Yeah, he just wanted rage. to he wanted to rage with you guys. <laughs> he was all over, and I I texted so him the day before, and he was, "Oh yeah, I'll go." He was having a the, a blast. Was, Joe Friend, uh, he did yeah. a fantastic um, our sand dunes shoot with Edie. Yeah, that, that was, was one of I think our our most like proud pieces we've done i was gonna ask you that i mean that was a really impactful like the cover was gorgeous Mm -hmm. it just looked it looked high fashion right yeah that was that was so cool i I think overall i mean it's even though we're a small it's a tight-knit community that it's it's fun to be a part of something that we can that we feel like is kind of a common bond like Mm -hmm. this you know kind of thread through the community and um we can't all always be, you know, at a party together or anything, but it's it, it kind of makes us all feel connected to some level. Well, I mean, I tell people, I was like, really, it's kind of like you opened a PR firm, you know, like really, right. <laughs> you are your own PR firm. It's kind of incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that on the side yeah, since you guys you know, are doing so many right, businesses right, right, yeah, right now. Got, with all your extra time, time and your four yeah. children. That would be amazing. Right. Well, so how did you guys start the magazine? We we were both. You know, I wish it was a more romantic story. Like we were grew up in Boulder, and, and we just saw that Boulder, Boulder Boulder needed this Boulder needed this magazine. Which um, we 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 were both from Kansas City. I lived in in uh, Vail for a few years after college in the early two thousands. But we both you know always had a love for Colorado growing up. We and, got engaged in the area. Oh, yeah. I always oh, like said, I wish we could come back. I wish we could get back. So we just I was a partner at a restaurant in Kansas City and. Kate had a salon, and we had a. How old were the kids at that point? Like a, two a, kids a, unexpectedly. Yeah. yeah. Back to uh, back. Two kids under the age of two, basically. <laughs> so, you sneezed at her, and yeah. she got pregnant. <laughs> so, yeah. We we put to we put to rest that the uh, the myth that you can't get pregnant while breastfeeding. So. Yeah. <laughs> we shot Why? shot holes, lots of holes in that oh, one, God. but really it was just more about like a lifestyle. We wanted to get get back to Colorado and. Um, it's so funny now looking, I mean, nothing against Littleton, 
um, that for some reason we were in our minds in Kansas City we we thought well let's either Littleton. do Littleton that could be a cool place to live or Boulder which you probably couldn't get any more <laughs> opposite than that it's like do you want a Lamborghini or a minivan Did like, you? which one <laughs> um, but yeah we had we had friends I think some friends we spent from back, one day in Littleton and we're like oh let's yeah, let's look at. I mean, we had some Boulder. friends in Boulder, and and so that was. And I had some buddies, you know, that went to college here and had good memories, many of which escape me now. But uh, as Boulder, they do in your twenties. Um, so, Katie's brother started Lifestyle Publications in Kansas City, the parent company, and and Stephen, her brother, said, "Hey, I, I think Boulder would be a great market." We did a little research, and and you know, there's some there's some great publications. He, that were there and that are still going. And we, we felt like we had a little, little niche that That's we could awesome. slide into and, and do something a little different and, and serve. And so, and you have had, Cherry Creek as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then we, yeah, we launched Bol- awesome. Boulder in, in February, 2013 and then Cherry Creek launched two years later, but wow. we uh, had six months, about six months savings. We had two <laughs> kids. She was pregnant with number three. And so if there's, if I didn't need any more motivation than, I mean, I had, because I remember my first, oh my our first, our first advertiser was Land Rover and that was on Halloween. And so my, my first, de- the first deadline for the first issue was January 1st. So I had, I basically mm-hmm. had eight weeks and I had the holidays to deal with in there, in there too. So I really, it was, it was definitely, there's no plan B. Like you got to get in, you know, I think there was a lot of skeptical people, family, Stepping friends, out. like, uh-huh. oh, they're, you guys are, you're, A, you're crazy for trying to start a magazine in, a in 2013. As, as, you know, <laughs> newspapers were going out of business and uh, huge conglomerates in the, in, the, in the publishing were folding. But but you got the community part. That's what it was. Yeah. It was yeah. Just, we're going to go in and try to build. And you did. You have. Yeah. I mean, like, I think the events that you guys have put on, the way that you've shown up for the community is really incredible. It's it's been a blast, and we 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 feel honored, and and it's it's truly been a privilege just to be in this to be here seven years, which you know I think I felt like it two years in everybody was oh like <laughs> like man you guys know everybody, and it's it's just because like once you start meeting people, and it yeah. is a pretty tight knit you know you develop that love for your town and you do your, and for the people that make it great yeah so. it's really interesting how I, I totally like get that like mm-hmm. where you're just like all of a sudden you're like oh and you know like you know suddenly who to connect that's to right who. the connecting yeah of, uh, like that's what I always tell people like this is a coffee shop handshake town mm-hmm. don't come in here and try and, and you know don't right. be an asshole because <laughs> like, everybody's gonna hear about it you know yeah. and there's no need you know right. like that yeah i agree that's so cool that you guys did that so like when you were doing that i mean and now you've opened a hair salon yeah <laughs> outside well, of just a magazine and for kids I think one of, I mean, because she's she sacrificed always, a lot of her yeah. You knew you were going. We've always gone back and forth. I mean, it started out, he, when he had his restaurant, he'd stay home with our kids while I kind yeah. of ran my business in Kansas City. And then yeah. I came out here, helped him get the magazine going. And he knew who he, who he married. So he yeah. Was like, okay, well, I was going to say, and not only that, like, Kate <laughs> has done some pretty famous people's hair. She was living in Los Angeles. Her roommate at the time was really famous, is really famous. <laughs> So, I mean, you had some, like, really cool things to fall back on. Yeah. Yeah. So, balayage was my background. So, I knew I wanted to open, like, a niche. Yeah. French hair painting, you know. You know me, I love niche. Yes. (laughs) I I always joke that she was my, she was my, she made quite a bit more money than I did when we were, because the hair industry is it's is crazy good money. beauty and, uh, man doesn't rest, doesn't see recessions a little tiny restaurant on a on a small lake <laughs> you know i was to the point so where cool. we needed to start opening more restaurants if i was going to if it was going to be a viable you know economic right. you know stream so she was, she was my sugar mama when we first got married. And <laughs> after it's all said and done, I, I think uh, if we keep opening more more sweeps, oh my god, she's gonna. I mean, look at like how Sola and those places do. Oh, yeah, you know, so was, like yeah, Boulder based. You know, they um, kill it. Yeah, they do. We could do anything like that. It's a fun industry, though. It is so oh. fun, and it's fun to see. All I ever like, wanted to do was be a hairstylist. We all talk to each other. <laughs> so, like everyone, we get we yeah. all cry together. It's a great. Yeah. It's been, 
would have been fun. <laughs> Party together. She it's does like, have a no drama. Um, do you have a no drama policy? policy? No drama, yeah. make do you have a sign. gauge by wh- how high the drama can be? You're like, that's it, you hit three, <laughs> you're enough. done. Ding, ding. <laughs> do you, how do you do the, that? The fire, how do you mitigate that? The fire suppression that? system comes on. Right. How do you mitigate that, though? Seriously, because that is a thing we in the salon industry. We have weekly juice talks. So we, okay. we have like our... Wait, what is it? We uh, Juice talk at Wonder. I love that. Yeah, it's a weekly juice talk. And then tell everybody what Wonder is. Oh, Wonder. Oh, my God. If you don't if know what Wonder is, you're over there. Juice. Yeah. Anything juice, yeah. They, they have a, juice they have a latte not only that, called it's, Princess Yum Yum, and oh, it is. Have you well, heard that? No, but I mean, I was going to say, it's the only juice bar that I know of that is fully organic. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. they kind of went and said, and said we're going to grow slowly mm-hmm. because we want to stay organic. Right. And they feed, um, they give all their extra pulp to the... The goats to the mountain forest. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Boulder, we love it's you so, so much. Boulder. It is so, uh, it's so cute. Good good. job, Brooke. Yes, and they have a baby shower for the goats. A little goat Get. baby shower <laughs> at Wonder. <laughs> I think we're all Easter. joking. We're, no, we're, 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 no, I've missed that. I've <laughs> seen them out like on the patio, so and I'm like, oh my right. god. They were actually the on the cover of one of our issues a couple years ago, mm-hmm. the baby goats. I remember. Yeah, yeah. 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 outside so, of Wonder. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I mean, so talk about that. Wait, I want to hear what. First of all, your no drama. Like, what do you do when there's too much drama? Do you have a bell? You, bell? you need something. Well, uh, we should have a bell, but it kind of just takes care of itself. We either we either pick up juice and go for a hike, or mm-hmm. we do a juice talk at wonder once that. a week and we just check in how yeah. are we all doing what do we need to come clean about you know like the dirt comes yeah. stays there and we don't you not know let, not letting things yeah, fester. Like, i think it's like a just keeping it positive for, you it's know. smart keeping we do that yep yep <laughs> we do that yeah. that's so good so what's been like some of the biggest hurdles in the magazine industry now that you've taken off. I mean, and really, would you call yourself a magazine or would you call yourself a PR firm? Because I think yeah. you have some of the it's two mix of both. marrying. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, from, a, from an advertiser's perspective, we, when we're talking to somebody that's, that's interested in partnering with us, we we usually come out and say that the ad is, is probably 50% of, you know, you're not just, hopefully, if, if we're doing our job right and we're checking in and we're inviting you know you to events and connecting you with people that yeah. are going to be beneficial like the ad itself is should be about 50 percent of it you know almost an afterthought and then everything else in the partnership you know, yeah. should uh, be an equal value if not more mm-hmm. you know so um <clears throat> our challenges it's you know since we're not we're not a subscription-based magazine so i think that that's where like a lot of challenges are in in the publication in the print industry right now is that it's you know, we, we're getting our hard news on the phone, you know, on pop-ups, constant alerts and all sure. that. So people aren't, aren't subscribing to things to get um, that kind of information. So we're, fortunately, we don't have to deal with with the subscription thing. So yeah. I think because we're just, we're automatically showing up at people's houses, that mitigates a lot of our, a lot of the, the, the typical problems with, mm-hmm. with print. So um, I think it just... You know, from since we're we're juggling, you know, 100 plus advertisers probably, and with the combination of both magazines in Boulder and Cherry Creek, it's just making sure that customer service. It's like it's like a restaurant or yeah. a, anything that's hospitality driven. Just making people feel valued, just like I mean, we know what you do. You got, <laughs> you got how many clients? They get and, you psycho know. calls from me every once in a while. Yeah, right. No, you're. You guys uh, are more like brothers. We are. I just, <laughs> I so just have to send you a text and Jen, say, "Hey, calm down, chill down." I, mean, chill I love you. Yeah. I love you. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we're definitely. You know, we drop you know we drop me. balls and <laughs> we, we try to keep it to a keep it to a minimum. Well, you've, you've said before it's kind of like you're dating. You know, a hundred people. Right. Like that. It is. Relationships, yeah. which is a good, you know, it's like we We've both been, love people and you love connecting. So fortunate, yeah. though, so to like our, the anchor of the magazine, like the our foundation with, um, you know, you being with us for, you know, since our second issue. Audi's had the back cover for five years straight. Yeah. Um, Seltzer Harbaugh has been with us for seven years. Well, and so it's, it's really just, cool to see how it's like steamrolled and people caught on, right? Mm-hmm. Like they really did. Like, and I will say, like, I was vehemently against print ad until I met you guys. And I think, you know, Anthem Branding did a bang up job with like how our ads look and everything. But people stopped me on the street 
and say, oh my God, we saw your Adam Boulder Lifestyle magazine. It looks so beautiful. That house looks amazing, you know, or we saw your client event party and that was great, you know, and so it's like, that is invaluable right. when you're in a sales position. Like that's been incredible, yeah. you know. So that's the impact you guys have had on me. You guys like, have pretty ads, so that, yeah, that yeah. helps. You know, do. As do most of our, you know. They really have. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people are like, I mean, you'd be amazed, honestly. Now that we're in the the there's 72 markets that Lifestyles in now, wow. and um, we get people all over the country, like publishers, like me, that say, hey, there's, you know, we've got a realtor and and you know, they want to use like, because they honestly, the Boulder lifestyle is used as a, as kind of the template or around okay. the country. And again, that's wow. like credit to the design team and, and our, all of our staff. But, um, yeah, we, people like in random Westport, Connecticut, we want our ad to look like Jen Egbert's or, wow. you know, so there's a lot <laughs> that's of, uh, cool. your, yeah, that's cool. your name's out there more than, more than <laughs> <It> you know. <laughs> You can yeah. just call me anytime that happens right, exactly. and let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Very okay with that. <laughs> yeah. That would be sweet. <laughs> um, so really, like, what is one of your favorite memories in the last six years of being here, seven years of being here? Like, I mean, you mentioned you thought that your Sand Dunes magazine cover was, like, the most beautiful yeah, and it was fun. I still I mean, like the black one the best. I, think I know, but this one, it it's was... It's really gorgeous. Edie was a part of this one, though. And yeah. all the fabric was hand-dyed by Edie and designed by a local designer. And yeah. it was... The models we took were... It was Incredible. just a fun... It was a kind of a whirlwind because we, like, kind of <laughs> like, caravaned going everyone. to the sand dunes. Yeah. Camped. 60% of our annual budget's blown on the fashion shoot by her. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, I think that's so, like, those are the ones the that people popular, see yeah. and they that's remember, great. you know, and you're like, oh my gosh. Or they buy the photos from the photographer and get it blown up. Um, we've got someone oh, who really? blew it up the photo and put it in her closet, you know, so oh, I love it's that. fun. We've gotten emails from people or, they, or they'll send us pictures of uh, things they've cut out and put in frames and they have it in their house, so. That's, that's really cool. cool yeah. I mean, the Derby, the der- I think... The when I look back fun. and feel like, what's my favorite part of of our job over the last seven years? Yeah. I think the events, you know, probably take precedent. But they're derby you know, they're party is derby party great beyond the beyond. And, yeah, mm-hmm. we're, uh, the farm to forest. Event. Yeah, when we did the client event oh, up at the yeah. that, was, that was amazing. That was cool. We need to do that again. Yeah, know, we did. We were just that was really great. So, and that was a surprise that it was. Right. Gonna, that was like the night couldn't have been more gorgeous. Yeah. The food was insane. That was fun. It was fun. And then the flood, I mean, we, yeah. we, the flood was <clears throat> a, a year, you know, we were still pretty green at that point, but just seeing how the community that came was, together, like that was, that was amazing. Phenomenal. Um, that there's nothing. Where our yeah. community sh- shines. Really. Yeah. Like we, I, that was still as impacted everybody. I think, you know, mm-hmm. as like the, right. everybody showing up, what, I'm spacing and this is horrible, but what was the group that was put together where they would go big, in and big red F or what? no, they would clean everybody's house out and they did the film. Yeah. Will you guys yeah. Google it. I'm sorry. And then we'll cut <laughs> back to it. it. Yeah. Okay. So there was this group and they did a film about it as well. Mm-hmm. And they were basically like, they went in and they completely helped people mitigate their houses and stuff. Yeah. Oh. And that was incredible. And I can't remember. And it was just a, just a, Grass, grassroots yeah. group. Yeah, like, and it got yeah. it was huge. I'm, I am doing a huge disservice by not remembering the name right yeah. now, but we'll find it and we'll post it at mm-hmm. the end. Yeah, this, I mean this community That's is cool. kind of incredible mm-hmm. when it wants to be. Yeah, yeah. it really is. It is. <laughs> I also like. It's not when all you just guys, Grateful Dead stickers and you know cold pressed juice. Is it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and organic groceries yeah. and <laughs> Teslas. Um, is it? I loved the ad too, where you were highlighting some of the business owners, and they were was like, "What was their favorite cocktail or something like that?" Oh yeah, that was cool, um, and they liked it. Right, right. I think, yeah, for the men's was it yeah. the men's issue. Yeah, they had their own issue. like what cocktail uh, like describe them. Yeah, so we're just you know with being a monthly magazine, you, we've got to keep finding new ways to to make things interesting. You know, we can't yeah. just do the men's issue every year. So like, what you know. We can't just do a picture of, you know, Jeff Keys and then, you know, like his favorite color. And his, this is all of his, here's all of his Porsches. Jeff. You know? <laughs> I love you, Jeff. Jeff, we love yeah. you. <laughs> What's your uh, favorite color? Yeah. So we're constantly, 
<laughs> having to make you know make things make things interesting and, and unique. So our team does, totally. does a great job with that. Since we're all kind of like influencers in town and stuff, and I know that people are going to, they're probably like seeing you on Instagram and you guys on Instagram, and I know that they are asking me stuff all the time on Instagram. So. If you had somebody coming into town who hadn't been before, they have 24 hours to be here, what would you tell them to do? It's a hard one. It is, right? I know. It's really hard. (laughs) But I can think. I'll think Um, about it. You think about it. Well, I would have... We have different answers. Yes, different answers. Um, Everybody take notes. Early riser. So I like to get up and get going early. Got to make the best of the day. Do you get up before the kids? I am now. Because I feel like I have to (laughs) practically pull you out of bed. (laughs) Okay, I do have the pirate eyes. Until it's the very last minute. I mean... Andy the is the hardest not, person I've yeah. ever had to wake up in my life. <laughs> okay. but, like, but I have four babies. We're trying to keep it easy for the. For the <laughs> when I am an early riser, I like yeah. to go on. Yeah. that's true. Uh, sunrise yeah. hikes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I like to go to M Car. Yeah, it's amazing. And Do you ever it's see never lions? I haven't. No, but okay. I um, sometimes I bring a, a headlight. Yeah, headlight. just to make sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. That'll. <laughs> Little lion. You know what? I could just just strangle them like that yeah. guy in Fort yeah. Collins. Yeah, like the guy in Fort Collins. <laughs> Kill a baby a, lion. A kitty. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It was a thirty yeah. pound cat. Thirty pound cat. Yeah. Um, start off there. Maybe head over to Alpine Modern to uh, the one off college. And um, so over. Alpine Modern. Just Alpine so you guys Modern know, yeah. is a fantastic coffee. Shop. Yeah. So our yeah. friends Lana and Lauren opened up this. It used to be like the pretty good grocery, and mm-hmm. they went in and they put in. They did it with Colin Kirby, mm-hmm. and Colin was a sous chef at Frasca the first time Frasca opened with Lachlan and them, and so they have like really delicious like. I mean, if bites. you're an avocado toast fan, if like, you are an avocado, who's not? Who's not? Like everybody. <sighs> they have they do. It really it's is. It's really With delightful. Egg, and the coffee good. will give you a heart attack. It's yeah, so good. It's I love good. it. It's yeah. Good. But then you need to wake back up and go go to Wonder. True. After that. True. Go to Wonder. Um, get your juice on. And and lunch at Arcona, right? Yeah. Arcona's amazing. Yeah. Annie and Elliot have, mm-hmm. like, killed it. Right. It's so good. Yeah. And then you'd have to walk around Pearl a little bit. You got to give them the Pearl experience. Go hit up Cedar and Hyde, their home. Do you walk around with them? I kind of let them go. I do. I <laughs> let them go. I don't want to. Yeah. I get anxiety sometimes I once I get onto like the walk. You're like, how many people am I going to see? What uh, Cedar and Hyde? One of our favorite shops, right. Max. They're amazing there. They're and they're Kansas. They're we've got Kansas roots. Yeah. Actually, I just sat with Poss and Christy the other night, and we, like, got, we found you way so too many connections. Same. I mean, oh, it really? was wild. Yeah, wild. So, yeah. That's we love them. Funny. They're yeah. good people. We're really lucky to have them here. Mm-hmm. I yeah. agree. I feel like they've elevated Big that time. scene, for sure. Big time. So. What's your happy hour go-to? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, then we'd have to go back to our house. That yeah. Sold us. Yes. Go hang out yes. by the pool, the view on the deck. You cannot believe yeah. the view. <laughs> I mean, the view is like we walked in and went straight out to the deck, and yes. I think that's kind of. I cried and was like, "Yes, where do we sign?" Sold. <laughs> what about this house? Yeah. It was, but it's phenomenal. Yeah. It's a work in progress, but it's yeah. It's a, doesn't matter. Yeah, the view makes up yeah. for it all. Yeah. Um and yeah, get a good nap in after that early. You nap. Early hike. No, but I would buy the pool. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah. I don't know that. Yeah, and then uh, happy hour, yeah. I don't know. Gosh, mm. I feel like you'd have to go to Corita. Corita is fantastic. Yeah, you, you have to. You have to go yeah. get, like, a bright, when a, what is it called, the bright, that genital? Uh, the vegetal. The bright one. Oh, the bright. Like the With the watermelon radish. Yeah, it. it's, it's so beautiful. Yeah. They have a view. Yeah, the view. They have the a view. Best. They have the a gin, gin yeah. and tonic cart. Mm-hmm. It's delightful. They yeah. have a fireplace out there. Yeah. Right here, a lot of shenanigans take place. <laughs> you hear? <laughs> Andres told me. Oh, he's like, oh, dude. Oh, Andres no. is the man. Yeah, he's I the love best. him. He he's so he's great. Brian Dayton, you scored with Andres. Like, yeah. scored. The first night, we met Andres at a, at a graduation party in our in our neighborhood. And uh, an hour later, he was at our house. Like, we were sampling all my bourbons. Like, you know, who is this guy? He just like, snuck his way into awesome. our family. He's yeah. I think everybody like. I mean, he's like, gotta, gotta see some live music at 
at the Boulder Theater or the Fox yeah. Theater or Chautauqua. Yeah, that's true. Chautauqua I mean, is just, amazing. Yeah, and you know, I don't go up there enough. Mm-hmm. It's, and is Bohemian Beer Garden still having music? They do. Okay. Okay. Or Red Rocks take. I mean, yeah, I mean, your Red Rocks is right yeah. there too. Yep. So keep it Boulder specific here. I know, I know, but you kind of look 24 there's, hours in Boulder. Hours. You, gotta you gotta like scene. rent a limo, not a limo, yeah. but rent a driver right. and go to Red Rocks. Yeah. Don't drive. Yeah. Do not drive. Because now they sell gin and tonics in a can at Red Rocks. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. One is day it I'll tell you. Squad? It isn't Cocktail yeah, it Squad. Why be. isn't it Cocktail Squad? One day I'll tell you about our Billie Eilish Red Rocks experience. Wow. Oh boy. Nice. Yeah, in trouble. Uh, um, what about you, Andy? Uh, I mean, a lot of the same things. I I love. You do a brewery. I definitely um, hit some brewery. Yeah. Um, I love. What's some, your favorite brewery? Uh, Sinitas. I mean, I, yeah, I got to be careful here because I'm yeah, friends with a lot of these. these well, guys. what's the easy? Like, you're like, I'm gonna I, run over there. We and... love Sinitas. Is so I easy do. to get we in. You can Sinitas. park. I go there all the time. You get you get well, the kids McDevitt, can play. McDevitt tacos, um, and then you know Avery is is like the pinnacle. You, it's it's a must yeah. must see for yep. sure. Uh, it's a little further north, but. Uh, Valmont Bike Park is amazing. It's yeah. it's the, it's the nicest bike park, um, publicly funded bike park in the country. So I think it's really cool. A lot That's of people awesome. maybe take that for granted, but then there's you know the bike scene obviously embraces it. But yeah, love going there with the kids. And then I'm a I'm a golfer, so Lake Valley is amazing. It's okay. got ridiculous it's public, views. right? Uh, it's it's, oh, it's private, private, but they're for the um, neighborhood. But they're yeah, it's it's. You just go talk to Mitch and, and Rob, and they'll they'll take care if you want to. There you go, Mitch. Yeah. There you go, Rob. Uh, yeah, but uh, just tell him Andy. Tell him Andy sent you. Yeah. yeah. Put it on the Underhills tab. <laughs> <laughs> Get a couple lobster rolls to go. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, but I'm a, huge, I'm a huge huge live music fan too. So I mean, it's just I try not to get jaded living in this town because. Like there's so much good music that comes through. I don't. Mm-hmm. I, I, you, it's easy to be like, yeah, I'll just catch them next time, but. You never know when there's gonna be a next time. So, it's like, true. So she spoiled. just told me this morning that I could go see fish on Friday night. So, Aww. I'm very well, happy Friday about that. Friday family fun night. So, and, oh, uh, we, like, I only the last Friday never, family fun night I missed was when Trey like the, played it at Mackey in December. Yeah. So, oh, really? so it's it's I have a fish. But you claws. got a hall pass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You've been so, being good. I know. <laughs> That's so, amazing. Anyways, but yeah, yeah I think it's when, just the list is so long of, of restaurants and the food and drink and I know it's like you can't like you kind of have to tell people like yes of course go to the I mean Jack's farmers always, market like, Jack's, Jack's is amazing is one some of oysters, oysters. the yeah. what is it called the tower of the seafood yeah. tower yeah. oh my god yeah. so good I great. love that um let's see here what else can I ask you guys and then we'll wrap up but oh how on a scale of one to ten how weird are you Weird. I feel like you should answer that about me, and I should. Really? Answer that about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I mean, so like putting an empty Cheerios box in the fridge, like that's some of that is just you that's know just like that's mom brain, right? yeah. Like being when a you're, parent, yeah. And she does an amazing job with with uh, <laughs> my in the mornings when the kids wake up for school. I just I, I go downstairs and let the dog out and get the cereal bowls ready, and then she does all the. Getting them out of bed and, and getting them dressed is is something that I have not the patience for. So right. um, no, that kind of we, susses itself out like, yeah, over the like years. We know right? our roles, like, and, yeah. Um, but yeah, on a weird scale, I mean, we're all weird too. I know to we're pretty weird. Extent. Weird. Yeah. yeah, I like to act like I'm. I like being weird together, with you. Yeah, I like to be weird with you. I know too. it's really what's, fun. What's, <laughs> I mean, what's the quirkiest thing? I um, probably like. I don't know why this is a weird thing about me that I shouldn't be sharing. (laughs) Uh, Maybe it's because I'm in the hair industry and this stuff doesn't Mm -hmm. bother me, but I like to pluck out Andy's, like, really coarse hairs in his beard. (laughs) That's weird. I mean, while he's, like, driving. Only from the neck up. And I can get it in a quick strike. Like, I can catch him when he's not looking and just be like... Or, like, my nose. She tries to get in there and (laughs) get my nose hairs, and I, like, start crying. I love it. And then she... Here's the weird part. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. (laughs) Then she takes the pear that she's plucked and the bulb on the end. She she rubs the bulb against her cheek to feel it. Make sure that you yeah, like the, like the density of it. Like she has no. like a, so. That's weird. That, that, it's so good. <laughs> that just answered it for both of us. <laughs> and she doesn't even know she's doing it. No. 
Um, it's the perfectionist. I almost was an esthetician, so that could oh, explain that. All day I think long. the cutest weird thing is when she's folding laundry, she, she smells every single piece of... She'll smell sock. She, she loves the smell. Not the dirty spin. sock. No, no, no. Clean sock. Clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll <laughs> then next fold t shirt. She's got to smell it. Like every, I do. every I really like thing. I really like So, that's um, endearing. That's awesome. But you guys are I'm awesome. You're way. weird. Too. weird. I'm, You're such a weird weirdo. stuff, but mm-hmm. I know. What's your weird? He's more like, um, who's that that movie we watched? That uh, Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes. Yeah. Yeah. Like he likes everything. Doorknob toucher. <laughs> he thinks having more kids is the best thing that happened to him because he. It's uh, made me. It's, it's made, made me like get out of my little A type A type. Because you're not walking around with like wipes. And yeah right. <laughs> Pure all. Right, right. Right. We thing. share a toothbrush, and I never. I mean, you. If you would have told me <laughs> that weird. ten years ago. We have two <laughs> toothbrushes. We actually have like two. Do you but uh, we just just use you know, the same. You know, nice. We just like one. We'll take. Yeah. So I don't know why we share. We started sharing. Don't know. Maybe we just efficiency. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Seriously, just, like we got thirty to, seconds. Yeah. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> but no. I love. Thank that. you for having us. Oh my god! Appreciate like you guys it. are amazing. <laughs> Thank God it was you. I'm gonna close like, this thing seriously. down. Seriously. <laughs> so wait, one thing though that I do notice that we uh, that I remember that I f- you forgot to tell us what's the Boulder Lifestyle Instagram handle? Oh, um, at Boulder, Boulder Life. At Boulder Lifestyle. So, okay. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. And really, that is the place. Like, if you are looking for events that are coming up, if you want to know you know it's a, such a great resource for mm-hmm. all, really all things local i mean i've you know i've found jewelry designers that i didn't know existed you know I and then if, if, if you uh, we always keep if you don't get the magazine to your home um boulder wine merchant we usually always keep them yeah. stocked we have then, a pile of them at the office we got um, them this week yeah yeah, yeah. So they're all over go. town Between. but they really are great like if you have people coming to town it's the easiest thing just to hand them this and be like Go to any one of these places and here they're all incredible. Mm-hmm. So, and if you want your hair to look fabulous, you gotta go. <laughs> can anybody book with Come you get, anymore, or are you booked out to. now for like a year? No, you can. <laughs> you can yeah, but all the girls we train yeah. all the same way, so everyone yep. paints the same same way. We have like you That's come awesome. in and it's pretty simple. You pick from five different styles of balayage, so you can just get your face framed or you can get the whole shebang. That so. is so cool, and yeah. it's at Sweet Balayage. Bar. Good job. Bar. Dot com. Dot com. No. no. At Sweet, Sweet Balayage Bar. Bar. Yep. For Instagram. But you did pronounce that right. Thank you. Nice. I was the third time to I got it on the third time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, the, they have like photos. Of the, the women who work there are really incredible at their craft. So make sure that you're checking them out. And you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jen. Yeah. 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 Thank All right. You. All right.